In this short tutorial I'll show you how to pretty much loop anything using After Effects when it comes to stock footage, overlays or even effects such as Saber. Alright so for example I've got the shot here of the fireplace, now once we play this you can see we get a jump and we don't want that, let's say we want to create a loop of 10 hours or so. So what we can do is drag this clip backwards here and let's have it start off here. Now I'm gonna duplicate this and by holding shift I'm dragging the very first frame of this shot to be the very last one. Let me go ahead and extend this and what I can do here is set an opacity starting from 0 to 100 right where the shot ends. As you can see this is pretty smooth, there's no jump, there's no overlapping or anything like that and all we did is set two keyframes for opacity. Now using the same technique you can do this on things like overlays like fire elements or anything there might be. So for example I've got this flying embers here, I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it, make sure the first frame is set to last here. I'm going to extend this, set two keyframes here, starting off 0 to 100, and let's see what we've got. Now we still get a pretty smooth transition here, and if not, you can go ahead and drag this backward just a bit more so it's a little bit more fluent, and just like that we get a pretty smooth loop. Now if we use Saber, for example, let's go ahead and make it transparent here. As you can see, we can overlay this on some footage or anything else. And let's say we want to loop this and Saber doesn't have any looping options. So let's play this back and as you can see we get this nasty jump. So what I like to do when it comes to Saber is pretty much the same. But I'm gonna duplicate this layer, make sure the starting frame is set to the last frame. I'm gonna drag this backwards here as much as possible. And I'll be doing the same thing with the opacity of keyframes, but I'm gonna make sure the layer underneath this one disappears towards the end. So basically from 100 to 0 here, and let's see what we've got. Okay, so as you can see, this is pretty smooth, there's no jumping, overlapping, or anything like that. And here is just a quick tip on how you can import looped footage. So for example, I went ahead and looped the fireplace shot we've got in the beginning here, and if I go and duplicate it here, you can see it's looping pretty smoothly. And instead of going in and doing this one by one, once you import the footage into your After Effects, you can simply go ahead, right click, interpret footage, main, and down at the bottom here you can see we have an option called loop, and if we set this to 100 and drop our shot into the comp, you can see it's just gonna repeat 100 times. So this is just a quick tip on how to loop anything using After Effects.